We are talking today, our first guests are a couple of folks who are involved with an event called New Bedford Connect, which is being held on October 18th of this year at the New Bedford YMCA. Peter Muse, of course, the president of the First Citizens uh, Federal Credit Union, uh, and he's also a member of, of the Homeless uh, Service Providers Network. Uh, Lisa Poulin is the senior marketing director for First Citizens, and she is involved with an organization called Rise Up for Homes. Now, these two organizations are paramount, really, in the uh, New Bedford Connect program. So we're going to uh, talk, with them, uh, talk with both of them about connecting homeless people to a better future. That's what New Bedford Connect is all about. It's a one-day event, four hours. Peter, what do you hope to accomplish with this? Well, uh, first of all, thank you very much for the You're opportunity, welcome. Jim. Appreciate it. Um, there is a... Um, there, there is a great need for um, support of the, either the homeless or those that are at risk of homelessness. And that's a population that sometimes gets, gets missed um, from, from where this would be. This is our second annual. Last year was the first kickoff. And um, whenever you do that, you can imagine what the planning of that looked like. Um, it is uh, one other item. It is over at the YMCA. Mm -hmm. um, that's... Uh, uh, in the uh, gymnasium and it's all set up that way um, so what we do is is we have about 40 we'll call them vendors but they're really the agencies that are around and it's a it's a an opportunity in those in that short four hours to be able to kind of bop around and 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 we would call it shopping but if you know if you can get the sense of this if if somebody is is having an issue and it may involve homelessness. Now, homelessness is the final end of what the issue might be. It could be uh, drug addiction, alcohol, could be uh, emotional, whatever it is, there are agencies there that may help. Um, and so if folks can come in, uh, certainly from that time frame, there are tables set up and you can just simply move around. Now, um, and we would like to prevent homelessness as well as working with those that are homeless. So the services are there in a, in a one day. Will it resolve your problem that day? Probably not. Will it give you the connections that you need to? That's really what we're after. Making folks aware that there are service providers right here in the New Bedford area that can help. Um, what we've found in many cases is that the problems are so overwhelming, you don't know where to turn. What we're trying to do in the four hours is show you what's available. Rise Up for Homes, I would assume, is one of those providers that's going to be open to people. Being, yep. uh, if people want to approach uh, you folks for some help, uh, they can make that inquiry. Um, first of all, what is Rise Up for Homes? So Lisa Poulin is here to talk to us about that. Yep. What is it? So Rise Up for Homes is really the fundraising arm of the Homeless Service Providers Network um, of New Bedford, and we help really fund and raise, raise awareness and raise, raise funds for um, the Overflow shel Shelter at the Sister Rose House and also for New Bedford Connect because this is our way of giving back to those people that are in need um, by having this one-day event annually. I want to apologize. It's Leslie. Leslie, oh, yes. That's okay. Leslie, so. <laughs> um, and what does... Uh, rise up for homes do exactly what it what is it uh, how does it work well the you mentioned earlier the HSPN which mm -hmm. is the homeless service provider network in New Bedford uh, that is um, run on un, under the uh, the city's auspices it's a continuum of care every city uh, by federal uh, edict needs to have uh, one of these and that's the group where all the agencies get together on a monthly basis talk about best practices, talk about what's going on in the, uh, in the, in the city. Um, Rise Up for Homes is a, five, a 501c3 under the um, Interchurch Council that what, quite, quite honestly, none of these agencies have anywhere near enough funding to take care of their own work, never mind taking on something different. Uh, the Overflow Shelter being one specifically, and then the New Bedford Connect. Where does the money come for this? Um, that's mostly from donations. So the Rise Up for Homes is an organization that allows for the donations. 
Now the money comes in from a bunch of different ways. You can make a donation. I'm looking to Leslie right off of the website. Right, right on the website or by texting 50155. Um, so, so it's pretty easy to be able to make donations. We've, we've got um, a lot of folks that are interested in this problem, but they don't know how to get involved. So certainly money. Money is, a, money is very important. <coughs> but we would prefer talent as well. Um, this New Bedford Connect, right off the website, there is a volunteer mm -hmm. sign-up opportunity. So if somebody says, um, whatever it might be, I'd like to, f I'd like to, I don't necessarily how to know, know how to go to an agency, but I'd like to be involved with this. They can go right to the website, Rise Up for Homes, sign on as a volunteer. We have a volunteer coordinator who, again, for those four hours, we'll put you to work. Uh, <laughs> there's, there's no doubt that we'll put you to work. And we would like that for the main reason is that once you are involved, and I looked at Leslie and I, once they have you involved, you understand the need and um, you're going you're gonna to stay involved. The more people that we get involved, the greater awareness we have, the more that we can actually work on this problem. Now, this problem has been around for a long time here in New Bedford, and uh, the response to it has grown. I mean, mm -hmm. we have... A number of agencies that are now actively involved in combating homeless and attempting to help people uh, get out of the, whether it's a scourge of addiction or any other problems uh, that, that may have led to this uh, situation. But it doesn't seem like it's, it's going away. Uh, you know, I, I'm not deeply involved. I talk to people who are. Are we making progress? Are we getting some people off the streets? Or is just, you know, when you, when you help one family, there's two more replacing that family, you know? Mm -hmm. I mean, it's, it's, it's you, you, what's the progress rate? You, you, you hit the nail right on the head. Um, the homelessness is the ending characteristic of something else. Mm -hmm. You lost your job you have a mental health issue, you have an addiction issue. Th there's a cause that leads to the homelessness. So to resolve the homelessness issue, we gotta go downstream. We've gotta work on these other problems. So uh, economics, let's talk economics, let's talk about addiction. The opioid, opioid uh, uh, um, situation right now is worse than it's ever been. That's gonna add to homelessness. So yes, so we can, we can address some of the homeless homelessness. This other scourge has, has jumped in here like we've never seen before. Um, and, and it's not just a New Bedford problem. That, that's a fact. Um, it, because of all of us in this room, our New Bedford centric, we see it here. Um, we have a lot of involvement because of the credit union throughout uh, Bristol County and Barnstable County. This is not a New Bedford problem. Um, what what is a little unique is New Bedford's compassion. New Bedford has a great amount of compassion to help out fellow folks. Um, and when it comes to those that have mental health issues, addiction issues, homeless issues, New Bedford does help. Uh, the city the city uh, helps as well. And then the our, the individuals that are around here have a great heart for helping their neighbors. We've it's, seen it. We've seen it this week. Uh, Lines at the police station, for instance, mm -hmm. uh, sending uh, goods to uh, Puerto Rico Absolutely. to help people yeah. who have been plagued by uh, the hurricanes there. Um, this is a, a great idea, but it's one day. It's one day. We should be should we be doing this once a month? I don't want to throw any <laughs> work on you guys, but shouldn't this happen the, once a month in New the, Bedford? The uh, the answer is um, it would be nice to be able to do that. Uh, remember that when we have uh, 40 volunteers and agencies here mm -hmm. for four hours, that means they're not seeing their particular clients. You can imagine what the counselor's workloads are. Uh, there aren't enough. There aren't enough people trained. I, I looked to Liz. We're not trained in what mm -hmm. they do. No. What we're trained in is uh, um, more of the organizational administrative side, connecting the dots. Creating the awareness the and that kind of thing. Um, those, those folks are, are grossly overworked and grossly underpaid. Um, so it's pretty hard to pull them off of their regular daily to, to put this together. Now, the other side is, yes, that work continues, Jim, 365 days. Those agencies are working all the time. There is opportunity 
to connect individuals to any of those agencies. That goes on all the time. What we're doing is we're creating a greater, a, a one day huge impact of awareness. That's what we want to do. And the more we do this, um, again, um, we pull in more volunteers, more volunteers continue to grow that awareness wherever it happens to be, whether it goes back to the churches perhaps, or wherever, the awareness is there. We do have outreach to the homeless population. That is a very strong program in New Bedford. Again, uh, a point of pride for New Bedford where there is the outreach people on the streets. Uh, Packer does this as well, many others. Um, that goes on all the time, uh, whether it's uh, working with encampments. We know that there are encampments around. There's a group that will work with encampments. So there is a great deal of outreach that goes on for this as well. This is bringing them in versus 365, we're going out. All right. Um, do you need any more materials or volunteers for this event? This is October 18th, we should mention, 9 to 1 at the YMCA, 25 Water Street in New Bedford. Are you all set for this? We're about, uh, you know, 18 days out here as we record this. Are you all set? We, we could always use volunteers. There's never enough volunteers, so volunteers would be great. Um, they can actually just visit the website, riseupforhomes.com, in order to sign up to volunteer. Um, we're also collecting uh, donations of socks, gloves, and hats, and scarves, so that we have them there so that they can take it with them and be re ready for the winter. Uh, and, of course, just um, donations, monetary donations, mm -hmm. because the winter's coming, the shelters are going to be open again, um, the overflow shelter, so um, you know, we'll need to start raising some funds for that as well. We do have some businesses that have donated um, sponsored. sponsored that would mm -hmm. uh, food for the day of the event. Yeah. Uh, you, you figure out last year we had 100 clients, but we have double that in in uh, in the vendors and agencies. Mm -hmm. So we have we have food. We have uh, uh, um, so if, if there are businesses that want to get involved at that end, uh, they can go right through the same website, yep. uh, and yep. and and Liz will follow up with that. So there are folks that may want to provide. Uh, food, or as you said, if, if they have backpacks, we will take backpacks. Yes. If they, if yep. the, whatever it is, if they want to be involved in this particular day, there'll be others, other opportunities, not just uh, New Bedford Connect. But if people are hearing this and they say, well, what can I do? Um, we'll take anything and everything. You can contact us through that through that website. We'll have a conversation. If it's not something that you're prepared for for that day and you want us to do something in a week or so or drive by your business and pick things up, there's a bunch of other distribution, distribution points that are available. So, uh, But you know what that would tell us, Jim, is that the awareness has been successful. Peter Muse and uh, Leslie Poulin of uh, both working on New Bedford Connect, which is an event that connects the homeless to a better future. It is the 18th of October from 9 to 1 at the New Bedford YMCA. That, of course, is 25 South Water Street. I notice here in the list of services available, flu shots and health screenings. That's that's pretty important. Mm -hmm. uh, these guys are going to have dental checks. They can have their teeth checked. Mm -hmm. um, there's a lot of a lot of different support that's going to be there. So yeah, it's not just you know we're feeding them, of course, and they they can sign up for a lot of the different agencies to get the support they need. But they're also going to get a lot of free services that day, including getting their IDs for those that don't have IDs. But that health, you know, we're heading into the winter. Uh, we haven't had any tough weather yet, <laughs> uh, but we're heading into that period of the year and. Well, obviously, uh, getting a flu shot, that's mm -hmm. it's important. That's pretty important. I don't know if they understand necessarily, some of these folks, how important that is, but mm -hmm. it's pretty important. But uh, health screenings, dental care, flu shots for families mm -hmm. uh, who are out there, uh, yeah. I would say that's, that's pretty important stuff. Um, so, all right, you've done all the media stuff to get them there. <laughs> But how do you really get them there? I mean, uh, I would I would say that the van shuttles are probably the most important thing, getting these people there. Very very yeah. much so. There there are um, there are folks that have volunteered their vans and yep. drivers. Um, there are pickup spots. Um, the folks uh, are, and we've been putting out the pickup spots for several weeks now, so that individuals would know that the van will come by, pick you up, bring you over to the Y, and 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 it's a loop. 
So you don't have to worry about getting back. We'll get you back as well. That's a, you know, so the, the questions are, oh, yeah, you're going to bring us downtown, and then what? Um, so so the, the, the vans will run in a loop. You come in, and, and if you come in at 9 o'clock and you don't leave until 1 o'clock because you're seeing uh, folks, absolutely fine. There'll be a van fire at 1 o'clock to bring you back to uh, whatever the other station is. Peter Muse, Leslie Poulin, both working with New Bedford Connect. That's an event happening the 18th of October from 9 to 1 at the New Bedford YMCA. Good luck with it. I hope you have a big turnout, and I hope we can see more in the future. Thank you both. Thank you. Thank you, Jim. Thank you very much.